and I'm going to show you how to use uh, the Kepler web extension and the wallet, the wallet app. Those two are very, very important for you. You need those two. Um, you can't use just one. Some uh, interactions, you need the one for web. Some interactions, you need the one for the app. So let us start. I'm using uh, Yandex Alpha. You can also use, what do you call it? You can also use uh, Kiwi on your phone. But if you are on PC, it's quite easier on PC. It's quite easier on PC. Okay, I don't have the extension now. So you can easily Google it. Let's go to Chrome extension and add Kepler. Search. Okay. Now go to the first one, the web store. Let's check the website chrome.google.com. So that's the right one. Now you put this to desktop version. If you're using PC, it's quite easy. Just do the same step, but no need for desktop version because your PC is already desktop version. So click Add to Chrome here. So let's add extension. Let it add. Okay, I think that's done. Okay, thinks that's okay. That's done. I think I made a mistake going somewhere. Yes, that's you can see. Remove from Chrome here. That means we have added it. So next we go. Click at this bottom here. Click on extension. Click on Kep Kep Kepler. Or whatever you call it now let's create an account for you that uh, want to use your um what do you call it your excuse me let me just go back a bit for you that want to use if you're using uh this you need to be on a website before you can access extension for you that you are using that you want to up uh import your Metamax wallet, you can do that easily. Once you get to this Kepler, instead of uh, adding, going to create new account, just click on import existing account. Now, here I'm going to try to create a new account and I don't want to see my seed phrase. Okay, I can just use that as test. Fine, let me use that as test. Create an account. Okay, I'm choosing the 12, I'm not choosing the 24. Copy, okay. Let me add the new test account. Okay, let me put the password. Test. Okay. Test one two three. Test one two three. I think it needs eight four. Okay, now just click on next. Now I have to get this in order. Let me pause the video and do that. Now, I'm done with that. Please remember, keep this your seed phrase safe. I'm just showing you this because it's just a test wallet. I'm not never going to use this wallet. Okay, now I go on, click on register. When you copy the, PV, the, the seed phrase, you're going to be asked to input it again. That's what I did earlier. Then click on done. I mean, so you're done. You can go to the website here before you check your extension in Kepler. Now, you have Kepler here. Now, on Kepler, there are different uh, chains there. When you click this Cosmo up, you can see different, you can see Osmosis, Secrets, and so on. So, these are various um, extension. Uh, these are various uh, chain that uses the Kepler wallets for their wallets. So I'm just going to here and just click show this advance because I'm going to need it later for another tutorial. So let me leave it like that. Now the next thing, let me see what else I can show you here. If you can, if you want to add more account, you can click the uh, profile icon here. Once you click that, you can click on add accounts and import or create a new wallet address just like you can create on trust wallet and 
Metamax wallet. So I think that's sim simply it for now. For Kepler. Now the next thing you're going to do is move on to the app and go to your Play Store or your iOS Store, or whatever you have. Search for it. Install it. Install. It should be installing now. Okay. It's installing. Downloaded and it's installing. So it's going to open. To show you. I'm going to be importing the test wallet into this place. Open. So I'm going to be importing. Import from Capital, no, import from existing wallets. So I can paste the seed phrase here. Test password. Okay, now we go to next. Now you are all done. So I've enabled my biometrics. Click on done. So to load your wallet instantaneously so you don't have the kepler app and also the kepler uh, extension now the main reason you use the app is for governance votes now you can see if you scroll down you can see governance votes here now if you change this here to osmosis osmosis doesn't uh, charge you gas when you are voting for governance I don't think okay there was one uh -huh. so you click on here let me vote yes no gas free but the rest we ask you for gas free but very 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 minute gas free so that's how to use you can change it I think to Juno remember each uh chain has different wallet address so when when you change remember to copy the address you can see here you can see copy I've copied the address for this one and go to cosmos up this one is where you can see atom so in this wallet you see their main um their main network uh coin here yeah, you can see here this cosmos up is for atom this is juno here you can see it's for juno it's osmosis it's for osmo regen you can see for regen and so on and so forth so it's easier to use this for voting and it's easier to use the web for uh, adding different chain uh, and doing some other things now in the web you can see where to vote let me show you I'm trying to keep this uh, tutorial under 10 minutes Okay. Oh, sorry. I close that. Kind of in the east. Okay. Unlock. I always remember your password. Okay. I'm waiting for you to unlock and show you guys. Okay. Let us unlock. You can see there's nowhere like voting here. Here you can see your settings you can add address book and that's basically it for getting started with the cosmos uh, ecosystem thank you for watching until next time